What's up YouTube? This is JD from Red Barrel Skis, a YouTube channel dedicated to DIY ski building. Today I want to show you how I profile my skis. Profile of a ski is not to be confused with its side cut. That's how wide a ski is in the tip, the waist, and the tail. The profile of a ski is how thick a ski is in the tip, the waist, and the tail. Traditionally, a pair of skis has a uniform thickness under the bindings, called the binding platform, and then it tapers down in the tip and the tail. How that is accomplished is by milling down the core. Uh, I use a router table and a sled. You can also use a tray sending it through the planer or other industrial machines. But uh, for the DIY garage enthusiast who wants a reliable operation, this is my suggestion. It's got lots of little pieces and bits and bobs, so let's check it out. Ta-da! Here is my ski core profiling jig. It is a piece of three quarter inch plywood, not plastic, with a bunch of, I wanna say, should say two inch diameter holes drilled into it. It is 12 inches from wall to wall. These walls are two inches, making the whole thing 16 inches wide. Let me just verify all that because if you're going to make one of these, you'll want to know. Yep, 16 inches wide, two inch wide rails. This is a piece of masonite. The whole jig. is seven feet long. All these are pieces of three quarter inch ply. I do believe I built the whole thing out of one sheet of plywood. And this is the sled. It rolls up and down on the rails. The router sits on top. You can go side to side on it. Although usually I just kind of leave it in one spot then use the other rails move it over, go back up, move it over, come back down, and profile away. I um, have just a shim I've cut to length with a couple pieces of Velcro underneath to act as my riser, and then just a piece of quarter inch plywood throughout the middle, again, Velcroed down. There's more shim under that side, just to make sure we have a smooth transition. Uh, yeah, let me go ahead and go into a montage mode here while I lay up, throw down some skis. So let's take a quick look at some of the details. Right here you can see that I use these 45 degree angle pieces of wood to hold down the tip and the tail. They're extra long and they're long enough that I can get my whole router all the way to the end without running into a clamp. I use a little bit of foam underneath each of my little width spanning pieces of plywood. That way you don't accidentally pinch it on the inside and have it floating up on the outside. Similarly in the tip here, got those 45 degree angle hold downs, just so you have enough room to run your sled over top. These holes are specifically the right size to fit one of these clamps through. 
so that's nice and convenient. These clamps are specifically the size that they almost run out of threads, but they're almost at the exact right height. The width of the whole sled is big enough to fit two pair of skis on at the same time, and the length of the sled is long enough that you can put your router and its sled on it and not run it off the tipper end of the ski and you can have a really long ski on there. It also is compatible with snowboards, which Yep, I've dabbled into the dark side at least once before. The sled here is very simple. It's just got a little lip that hangs over the edge on both sides. It's also got a little wall for the router to run into. I cut this little custom sized piece of wood right there to make sure to have a pretty snug fit with the router. Not too snug, you don't want it to be dragging, but you do want it to not be so, so loose. And yeah, it's just kind of the leftover piece of wood after the whole construction. Hey, thanks for watching my video. Way to stick it through to the end. If you like my videos, please hit subscribe. I wanna be sticking to the once a month program here for the near future. Um, it just turned to summer in Colorado, which for some people would think means that the ski season ends. For me, that means the ski building season has just begun. Finally warm in the garage. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Peace.